Hey folks, it's Aaron with Metal Detecting SC, and uh, join us for an adventure today. I got Greg here with me. Say hi, Greg. Hello. We are in search of gold and silver, hopefully, but uh, we'll take whatever we can get. All right, I'll uh, see you all soon. Okay, folks, we're here with Greg. Greg, tell us what you found. It looks like an old button that they used to put the cloth through. It sure enough does. Hey, that's a nice find. That's the first real find today. Greg's on the board. I'm not yet on the board, but uh, we're going to keep it's got going. got some little, little edges on it, too. If you feel the edges, it's got little yeah. bumps. Yeah, most definitely does. Most definitely was a button, that's for sure. All right, on to the next. <coughs> okay, guys, my first target. Uh, let me get it in the frame for you here. I have a reins guide. This is awesome. It still has some of the finish on it. it. Was banging out my eardrums, and it's right back behind this old place. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely a reins guide. That is too cool of a find. All right, folks, be back with you. Okay, folks, this is where we're at. It's not too terribly old, but uh, it's also falling in. It's not too safe. Uh, there's an old Pepsi Cola bottle. Uh, it's broken. Gin. Not too old, but it's broken. I think Greg's finding stuff over here, but uh, just wanted to... Uh, Give you a view of where we were at. Greg, what are you finding over there? Bottles? Mason jar. Mason jar, okay. Looks like it might turn into a bottle dig. Moonshine. Moonshine, uh oh. All right, folks, we'll catch you soon. Hey, folks. So I was just nosing around a little bit and I found this old, old, uh, I don't know exactly how old. If you all know how old it is, let me know. It's got some sort of writing that's wore off of it, but it's definitely like a milk glass type uh, thing i don't see any any marks other than what's there maybe an old makeup thing or something i don't know greg what do you say makeup makeup you think yep all right you ready to get out of here let's get out of here all right folks Skeeters are biting. this is aaron with metal detecting sc saying have a good day i'm getting out of here y'all be good all right folks this is day two with uh me and greg greg say hi what's up all right, so I decided to bring out the Simplex Plus, the Nocta Macro, and see how it would do. And folks, I got a target here. It's just a penny. Um, but this penny I picked up, and it was a banging signal. It's just a regular old uh, Lincoln. No uh, anything special about it, but uh, the AT Pro missed that yesterday. It's a 1974. Go figure. All right, well, I'm going to keep hunting with this booger today. If it does any good, you'll see it. All right, folks. Greg is somewhere back over in there. He's got a signal. We're going to go check it out in just a second. But I just, again, with the, with the Mac, Nocta Macro Simplex Plus, the wireless setup, I hit a nice little target down, and it is an old... UMC company number 12 new club shotgun with some sort of flower store around it But that's one for the bag All right, I'll catch you on the next hole About six inches down maybe a little deeper uh, Found this little tiny target a little tiny target Let's See if I can grab it. I think I'm at out oh, there it is <laughs> All right, anyways uh, it is some sort of button fastener. I, I don't know, maybe some sort of old rivet. I don't know. I'll check it out later. But it's a find. All right, I'll be back with you soon. Okay, folks, I've got something here, and I'll show it to you in just a second. Greg's over there digging on a target, too. Hopefully he'll find something good. Uh, but anyways, back to this. Uh, still with the... Simplex Plus, and this is a day of days, I guess. Uh, shotgun shells galore. This is a West Western Expert, number 12, made in USA. But, uh, all right. So, here we'll find out soon what Greg has, so I'll see you all real soon.
let me clean up this hole and put the fine in my bag. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, Greg is finding his find here, trying to locate it. Uh, we'll be right back as soon as it's located. All right, Greg, what do you think it is? Tooth off in a small rake, possibly. You know what? It could be, but a very old rake. All right. Back to digging, huh? Back to digging. All right. All right, folks. Uh, back at you here. I uh, got this banging little signal, but it didn't turn out to be anything special. Just a piece of uh, aluminum, if I can get that in focus. Some sort of aluminum. There we go. But in the same hole with this piece of aluminum, I did find something pretty cool. <laughs> I found this old wheel uh, to some sort of toy. I don't know how old it is, but uh, definitely going to put it in the pocket. All right, folks, I'll catch you on the next hole. All right, folks, I hit another hole not far from the other one. It was giving me a real low tone, and then I got it. It is a very, very old iron buckle of sorts. Uh, not for sure what type. I'm going to try and preserve it as much as possible, but it's, it's very, very uh, fragile iron. Um... But, uh, yeah, there she is. First buckle dug. All right. Carry on <laughs> to the next hoe. Right, folks, Greg's going to take off and go back up the other way. As the sun goes down, it comes up from the ground. That's right. All right. Greg's gone, but I'm still going to keep going for a little bit more. I'll, uh, if you all see anything more of this video, it's because I found something. <laughs> I'll be back with you all soon. All right, folks. So, as I was on my way out, I got a signal, 76, 77, um, and I'm still learning this machine, uh, believe me. But hey, I got something pretty cool. It, I thought at first it was a piece of a toy, but then again I looked at it, I believe it to be an old piece of a brooch. Let me see if I can get this turned around here. Yeah, you can see the stones, there's actually stones in it. That's pretty cool. I don't know what it is. They're different color stones. Uh, and I don't know what kind of brooch it would have been. But hey, I'll take it. Clean it up later. And we'll see what it is. It appears to be maybe pewter or something. But uh, I don't think pewter would ring up that high. If you all know, leave a comment. Like I said, there's little jewels down in there. So we'll take her. Alright folks, this is probably going to be the last hole. Uh, if I find anything else on the way out, I'll definitely show you. All right, this is all for now. Hey, folks, I just wanted to stop a minute and uh, share all these little cactuses that are growing around. That's completely wild and uh, very in rare form for South Carolina. But uh, there is fields, and I mean fields full of these little tiny cactuses. If anybody knows what type they are, please let me know. Oh, there's one right there at my foot. And a cricket. <laughs> but if anybody knows what type these are, please let me know. They are growing everywhere. Alright folks, I've got a long ways to go. And it has been a nice hunt. A very nice hunt. But I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I'm tired, and I'm done. All right, y'all have a good day. This is Aaron with Metal Detecting SC saying goodbye and peace be to everyone. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting hey, here. This is uh, Aaron again. I got time. Now for the wrap up. Uh, today I found to this old range guide uh, this 22 bullet and case this uh, small jar which is pretty cool it's a small we jar maybe like a makeup jar I don't know no markings on it Greg found a piece of a button so and uh, you some an old mason jar here uh, I don't see any writing on it but uh, I'll look for him a little bit later uh, and then some old bottles uh, so 
terribly old. Not too terribly old, but old enough. So yeah. Uh, Step back 